In this video, we are going to talk about HasMap interview questions. So, let's start. First question. What are the ways to create a object of HasMap? Basically, we have three ways. First, map data type of key value hm equal to new hash map here i am not passing anything in the constructor of hash map second map hm equal to new hash map passing initial capacity third map hm equal to new hash map passing initial capacity and load factor in the constructor of hash map now if you focus on first point map hm equal to new hash map sometimes candidate also say hash map hm equal to new hash map he or she is 100% correct with respect to object creation but you cannot assign this object hm to any other class because you would have reference of hash map but if you do map map is an interface so you can assign hm to any class that will implement this map interface and this is called coding to interface focus on first point because on a basic level it will give you two more interview question first question what is default initial capacity of hash map whenever we create object using new hash map do not pass anything in the constructor of hash map internally an array would be created and size of this array is 16 so default value of initial capacity is 16 next question what is load factor and default value of it in the hash map load factor it is a measure of when to increase capacity of hash map and default value is 0.75 moving to next question how you can tune performance of hash map if you look at this way of object creation you don't have any option to tune the object creation of hash map but other two way that we discussed second map hm equal to new hash map and third map hm equal to new hash map in second way i am passing initial capacity so i am deciding the size of the array to be generated and in the third i am passing initial capacity and load factor so i'm deciding the size of initial array and when to rehash the hash map moving to next question how put works in hash map again this is most asked interview question to beginner and mid level calculation of hash code from the key second calculation of index how index is calculated we have a formula index equal to hash code binary and operation with n minus 1 remember this and that you see is a binary and operation third storing entry at index in the format of hash code key value and reference to next node so suppose the hash code of 1 is 65 then entry would be stored in the format of 65 hash code then key value and a reference to next node in case there is no next node reference would be null now moving to next question how get operation work in hash map first calculation of hash code from the key second calculation of index third
method comparison of hash code of key and hash code of stored entry and last comparison of key we pass and key at stored entry using equals method or equal to equal to operator if comparison is true return stored value or else return null moving to next question how to use any custom class as a key to hash map if you combine all the steps involved in get operation and put operation we are using two method of object class first is hash code method in the put operation and again hash code method in the get operation other method is using equals method in the comparison of key now if i have to use any custom class for example instead of string i want to use employee as key in the map operation i have to override these two method first would be equals and then hash code why i have to override because using hash code we are generating index and at a particular index we are storing the value and using equals we are doing comparison of key that we pass in the get operation and key at stored entry to get the desired value moving to next question what are the collections view provided by hash map there are three collections view provided by hash map first hm dot entry set second is hm dot key set third is hm dot value it is a collection so if you look at first two both are set and in java we know that set cannot store duplicate value so remember entry set and key set you cannot put a duplicate value and this is why duplicates are not allowed as key in map moving to next question is hash map thread safe no hash map is not thread safe if you want a thread safe map you can better use concurrent hash map or use collections class to make the object of hash map thread safe moving to next question how can i make hash map thread safe in collections class we have synchronized map method where we can pass a object of hash map similarly the other synchronized method in this collections class would be synchronized collection synchronized list navigable map navigable set synchronized set so remember apart from map you can also synchronize list you can also synchronize set because list and set are the two most important interface in collection moving to next question how can i make hash map read only again we can utilize collections class and use unmodifiable map method and pass a object of hash map also in this collections class apart from this unmodifiable map we have other method unmodifiable collection list map again remember we have unmodifiable list unmodifiable set to make a list and set read only moving to next question how to iterate over hash map this is a beginner level interview question to test if you have hands on experience in hash map or not first way of iterating over hash map using iterator how to do iterator entry string string itr 
equal to hm dot entry set dot iterator. Remember, you cannot get directly iterator from object of hash map. You can get iterator through hm dot entry set. And iterator of hash map is fail fast in nature. Second way is map dot entry set plus for each loop combination. How to do? We can write as hm dot entry set. You will get entry, and using entry, you can get a key and value. Third, using Java eight for each. How to do? hm dot for each k v where k is the key, v is the value, and then printing key and value or utilizing key and value. Fourth and last, you can say using key set and values if you remember we have talked about collections view in hash map so here we are utilizing that hm dot key set getting all the key and printing the key similarly hm dot values getting all the value and printing the value moving to next question Sometimes interviewer also give you some question to test your practical knowledge. So here we have hm equal to new hash map and we randomly put some value hm dot put a b c one two three hm dot put a one hm dot put b two hm dot put c three and then I am iterating the hash map. And while iterating, I am trying to remove the first value that we put. So tell me what will be the output. You can put your answer in the comment section also. Now, if you look at iterator of hash map, as I told earlier, it will be fail fast in nature. Now, what is the meaning of fail fast? If you see here how I am removing the key. I am using hm. Hm is what object of hash map. I am not using iterator. So fail fast say whenever you try to remove the content while iterating without the use of iterator's object, you will get a concurrent modification exception. So output would be concurrent modification exception. So remember here, in case of any fail fast iterator, if you try to remove the content without the use of iterator's remove method, it will give you concurrent modification exception. Moving to next question. One more practical question. Here, I have object hm dot new hash map, and I put hm dot put one byte programming. One is the key. Byte programming is the value. Again, I will do one more operation. Atom dot put one byte. Now, I am again utilizing the same key, but replacing the value. And whatever the output, I am storing in put val variable. And then I am trying to print put val variable. What would be the output of this print? Output would be byte programming. Why? If we store an existing key in the hash map, it will override the old value with new one, and return from put method will be old value. This was all about basic hash map interview question. In the next part of hash map interview question. We will focus on collision, rehashing in hash map, null as key, and some more practical interview questions. Stay tuned and subscribe for more upcoming video.